Hello guys, Lilo here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. Now today it's going to be a quick video again to show you how to make a one-time use button. So what this means is we all know that if you press a button or a pressure plate, we'll use a pressure plate for this. Um, if you press a button or a pressure plate, it will turn something on but the moment you let go it will turn off. Well sometimes you might want something that once you've pressed it it stays on forever until you reset the redstone maybe you're making an adventure map or something there's various times that this could be useful so the way you can do it is like so now we all know that a block on top of a torch is powered oh can i find the top of the torch is powered so if a block is here it will be powered and anything connected to it will in fact get a signal just like that. Now if we connect a piston to this, just like so, and we then give the piston some power, it will push the it will retrieve the block from there and turn it off. So this is a way of powering loads of things at once. So like that, it will maybe I should bring this around the side just so you can see a bit more easier. Easily. There we go, so it pushes it out over the redstone torch to create power. Now if we want this to be a one time use, all we have to do is bring redstone from this block round and back into the piston. So when this piston pushes this block out, the block will get powered and that power will come out of the block and back into the piston and keep it constantly powered, just like so. So again, so to reset it you just break the redstone and place it back and then if you press it again it'll push it out and it'll constantly stay on forever so there's you can think of a few uses to use this but i hope you found this useful leave a like if you did find it useful subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you again next time cheers all the best mind how you go